Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Beat Jump in Serato DJ. Now, Beat Jump is a new feature to Serato DJ, and it allows you to instantly jump forward or backwards in your track by a predetermined amount, and it keeps everything perfectly in time. Beat Jump is great for giving you more time to mix just by jumping backwards, or you can jump forward straight to the chorus or a later mix point and then skip a slow section of the track or a breakdown or any part of the track that you don't want to play. You can also use it to create a cool beat juggle effect by jumping backwards in small increments. In addition to using Beat Jump by itself, you can also use it with your loops. So you can make your loops jump forwards and backwards by a predetermined length using Beat Jump. And on top of that, you can also use it to adjust your in and out points of your loops while you're creating them. So the first thing you gotta do to enable this feature is make sure you've got the latest update of Serato DJ installed. So in this case, it's 1.7.4 or higher. And next you wanna go to the setup screen and right here under DJ preferences, you wanna click show beat jump controls and that will enable the controls in the software. So now you can see in addition to our looping controls right here, we now have our beat jump controls. And you can also see these in the looping panel as well. Now right here we have our beat increments. So you can jump 1 32nd of a beat or you can go all the way to 32 beats. Once you've chosen the beat increment that you want to jump, you just use these arrows right here to jump forwards and backwards. You can also use your Serato enabled controller to jump forwards and backwards using either the pads or the loop shift control buttons if your controller doesn't have any pads. So first let's do some bigger jumps. Now the big jumps are good for skipping further in the track. So say you want to skip to the chorus if it's a vocal track or skip past a breakdown or something like that. Anything you don't want to play or if you just want to cut the song a bit shorter and just jump to a later mix point. This is what that's good for. So right now we're going to start with 32 and it's also good when you hit it to do it on the one of a phrase. That way when it ends up a bit later, it will sound like the song is in time and, and it's the exact phrase coming next, like nothing was missing. Now first we're just going to use it to skip through the track so you don't have to wait for a one. But if you just want to skip through a track and just to like search the track, you know, this, this is really great for that. But say you're playing live and you want to skip past a certain part of the song, then that's when you want to wait till the one of the phrase. You see how that sounded like the song didn't skip, it was just perfect. So now you can do smaller increments, so let's do 16, and we can go backwards. And say you need more time to mix, so let's put it at the end here. As long as you jump back on the one of a phrase, it'll sound normal. But if you want to make bigger jumps, you can just do it on beat. Okay, so now let's use eight. So you can do different increments here. So now we're getting a bit smaller. And now once you get around this area to like two and one, it's good for sort of beat juggling. So let's get back here a little bit and you can create a cool beat juggle effect. So let's use one. You can do different ones. Let's do two. And then you can go all the way to really tiny increments. know 
all the way to 132nd. So you can also use beat jump to jump a loop forward and backwards. All you have to do is activate a loop and then use your beat jump controls. I'm just gonna jump right back here and we're gonna activate a four beat loop. Okay, so now we have that going and I'm going to shift it. Let's do a beat jump of one beat. So now you'll notice that the needle placement or the playhead still stays in the same place in the loop as we're jumping forward and back. So that's pretty cool. So let's do a bigger jump. And let's go up to 16 beats. So that's pretty cool. Now you can also use beat jump to shift your in and out points of your loop. So say we want to shift the out point, so we're going to hit out, and then I'm just going to jump it, so I'm going to go back just a little bit here, I'm going to jump it one beat. So now it extends it. If I want to do the in point, I just do the same thing. Now you can also do smaller increments. So say your loop, so let's click this. Say your loop was slightly off. You can use the 1 32nd of a beat and shift it slightly, just like that. The whole thing, right? Or you can do the in and out points again. So that's the basic idea of how to use Beat Jump in Serato DJ. If you want to learn more, check out the next video.